So there's a lot of different stuff that people try to get out of role-playing games that when they when they come to the table. Like what kind of different types of players are there? And I guess not talking about uh, like the problem player types, but what are the various things that players might aim for when they get around the tabletop? That That's a big, long list of different like niche type players. Cause it is a role-playing game. It allows you to do anything and everything that the DM will allow. But when you think about it in, in broader terms, you have players that perhaps they want their character to, you know, have a family, a home. You've got the businessmen players, you know, they want to start a business, they want to make money. They're all about the money and a lavish lifestyle. You know, the glory players that want to see battle and vanquish evil, espionage, spy game players that you know, they want to be behind the scenes, manipulating the politics of these cities and towns. They want the power without the recognition of it being them. Or the and, direct confrontation, maybe. Uh, yeah, exactly. Know. They just want to pull the strings. I guess there are there are going to be different types of these games that are these players, uh, different games that players are looking for that mesh well together and others that don't. Like if you've got somebody who's all about kicking in the door and, you know, fighting the evil and saving the day. But, you know, the rest of the party is trying to be more subversive and behind the scenes and run more of an espionage intrigue situation. It's going to be really hard to maybe keep both of those kind of differing desires aligned in a way that keeps everybody happy but there might be ways to do that pretty effectively maybe the you know there's enough baggage that's brought up or they're not effective in their workings of the espionage or whatever and you can bring conflict because of that and that'll keep both parties happy but i just I, yeah i think that that's something that you can get yourself into trouble with if you're not if you're not aware of what the players are desire like what they really try and focus on when they play D D. is it a about living out the life of their character and doing exactly what you know they think that their character would do in that situation given the setting they're in and all that stuff or is it I'm here to save the world and that's what's important so I've got to you know I'm on a mission from God and that's all that matters everybody else be damned kind of thing I think if you've got a if not entirely consistent desire from everybody in your group it doesn't have to all be exactly the same but if they're all at least coordinated in such a way that one person and doesn't hate the thing that somebody else really enjoys, then you're going to be in a better place, I guess, to have, have fun at your table. All of these different types of players and play styles are very much fun and valid if they're done correctly. Basically, you know, when you go to putting these games together or even on the player side, when you go to join a game, maybe that's a question that you want to ask all the players is like, what is your character that you're building? What is their goals? What style are you going to be playing as this person? Because if you do find out that, you know, three or four members of the party, you know, nefarious play styles in mind, and you want to be a holy do-gooder nothing wrong with that but you you have to know that there will be conflict within the game there's going to be conflict possibly even within the player yeah. within the party and i think that's like a whole separate you know that's an entirely different discussion like you know are you trying to play a game where you're working with everyone at the table or are you playing a game where the conflict that you expect to be generated from conflict between the party members like yeah. who respond to situations in diff individual and different unique ways that don't always mesh with each other very well and people are going to be working against each other and you know characters are going to be lying to each other or something like that or totally on the other side where people don't want that at all like i think that that's another one of these kind of overarching play style things that will have a big impact down the line on that kind of overall happiness of your of your party yeah and i know this is not really one of those things that i think a lot of people think about before you start playing but i think i think it should be more forefront i think it should be something that people think about just a little bit more before you join a game or before you put together a game because putting a little bit of effort into making sure that everybody's on the same page even if you have conflicting play styles if you're at least on the same page about how to deal with these because you know these will be a, a thing uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing so long as you agree on how to deal with them so just put a little bit more effort into this before you jump into a game and your 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 game will go much smoother down the line